Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Lord of the Rings, Narlo the Hobbit. Say hello, Narlo. There we go. Good boy. Let's get your name back over your top. There we go. We are currently outside of Michael Delving. Just outside of the town hole. And let's see if we can get some quests going here. I know that we have... The one going, let's see, Flower Dumpling. This is the one we're supposed to go and talk to Lobelia Sackville Bagginses. Uh, if you remember, Mundo, who was the hobbit who was kidnapped with us back in Archit, is demanding compensation for having been kidnapped and held by the bandits. So, <clears throat> excuse me, Mayor Whitfoot, right up there, is sending us to talk to Lobelia Sackville Baggins, the infamous Lobelia. While we're at it, let's talk, since we're right here, let's talk to Bundo Bunce. He's the second sheriff, and he can tell us about becoming a bounder, which is the basically the Shire Police Force. So we'll talk to him right quick. Hello. Says, so you were sent my way, were you? Well, I've heard good things about you, and I'd be glad to have you helping us out. Welcome, well met, well hired. Help out as many Shire folk as you can, and you'll rise to the ranks. Our cares may seem of small importance to others, the delivery of the mail, the tasting of fine foods, the lighting of fireworks. But you and I know they are worth protecting. And what better way is it to spend your time in life, for real? These peaceful ways are threatened, and danger can be found even throughout the Shire. Aid our people with their daily concerns, but if you travel to more distant villages such as Needlehole, Overhill, or Brockenborens, bring a weapon with you, Bounder. Life is dangerous on the borders of the Shire, and the further you get from Michael Delving and Hobbiton, the more likely you are to see to combat. So, we're going to get rewarded with a Bounder's Feather Cap. There we go. Excellent. Let's pull up our inventory and our character screen. There we go. And where's the feathered cap? There it is. The feathered cap of the bounders. It's much better than the plumed hat we're wearing right now. Gives three extra armor and has two might. So why don't we take off the cloak for the moment? There we go. You see the hat that we're normally wearing that you can't see because of the cloak being in place. And we will put on the Hat of the Bounders. There. Nice little feathered hat. We'll put our cloak back on just because it is so darn useful. But you know what we're really walking around with. Once we get to level 20, you're actually, I think it's still level 20, um, you're actually able to pull up um, cosmetic outfits right here. And at that point, hmm, let's see if it'll let us do it right now. Um, show helmet. Can you turn off the cloak? Okay. So it is letting us do that. There we go. We've turned off the cloak, so there you go. Get to see us in our wraparound shoulders and our hobbit feathered hat. Hmm, is it going to let us wear that? Equipment outfit wearing. Outfit one. Well, all right. It used to be you had to be a certain level before you could do the cosmetic stuff, but now they must have dropped it down allow anyone to do it which definitely makes a lot more sense so there now we get to see ourselves in our full bounder regalia alrighty so what others do we have we need to go to Hobbiton one fish two fish is we need to go to Bywater which will be right beside Hobbiton 
and we've got emerald borings at the craft fair. I'm not really ready to start working on a craft yet, so instead we are going to take off and run over to Hobbiton. It's a busy day in the Shire today. It is Saturday morning. You see there's a good number of hobbits around, running around, doing hobbity things. Here's two of the hobbits you have to look out for. There's a quest to deliver pies that you have to stay away from the hungry hobbits. And there's a quest to deliver mail that you have to stay away from the nosy hobbits. Both of them, both of them if you get too close to them while you're doing the uh, quest, will cause you to fail. All right, there's the hill of Tuckborough up ahead in the distance. That's where the... Uh, what, the Great Smile, I believe it is, the Great Smill, the home of the Tooks, and the Thane of the Shire. The Thane is the, probably the person actually in the Shire that has as much, uh, what am I trying to say, not really power, but as much notoriety and influence as uh, the mayor does. This right here is the little community of Waymeet, where the two roads come together. And uh, it's known as the trailer park of the Shire. Um, though looking around, I really can't tell you why it gets that name. It's a mystery. Gandalf has definitely been seen as a nuisance here lately. Alrighty, as we leave Waymeet, we're entering Tookland. The ancestral home of the Tooks. This is where Pippin comes from. In the future, if I have to run through here, I will probably... Just make it uh, much quicker, condense it down, probably cut it out and just um, edit in the beginning and the ending. But for now, let's just enjoy the scenery of the Shire. We haven't been through here this before. Now we're coming into the Hobbiton Bywater area. Let me zoom on in here. And down below us are the lights of Hobbiton. And up ahead in the distance, past Hobbiton, you got the hill. Goes on up. There are the Hobbit holes, a bagshot row. And at the very top, you can see the mighty Bag End itself. Famous home of the Baggins, Bilbo and Frodo. And right there is the party tree, where Bilbo gave his speech before he had his unexpected disappearance. Or shall I say, his unexpected second disappearance. And we will go and talk to Lobelia first. Over here to our left, I'll stop here for just a second, you see a stable master. There are stables scattered throughout Middle Earth and all the various um, communities. Most uh, regions, like the Shire here, have multiple stable masters that you can travel around via and when you see the little thing flashing it means we haven't discovered it yet so you need to talk to the stable master a lovely day isn't it there we go and you see it cost us one silver piece if we wanted to travel back from here to michael delving so i think we will not do that at the moment let's look at our map You see, the stables are represented by little horse heads. We had one in Needle Hole that we found. There's one here at Michael Delvin, and the one here at Hobbiton. Oh, there's one over here at Stock as well. Rock and Borings. Interesting. Interesting that this character has uh, the entire map filled out. Okay, I'm not sure what to make of that. Um, ordinarily, you would have to travel around and 
find all these places. Hang on, let's see. Select all. Maybe it's because I've been here before on my regular characters. Um, I guess that's it. Since I once once you've discovered the uh, once you've taken off the fog of war and discovered the place, well, it looks like it's discovered for all your characters after that. Interesting to know. All right, so let us continue on. We're passing the Ivy Bush Inn, known for its fine beers. We're going to cross the water, run past Sandy Man's Mill. And there's Ted Sandyman standing right outside, the little weasel. And on up the hill. To the left here, we're coming up on the gate that leads to the party field and to the party tree, which you can see over yonder. And if we continue up, we will come to the entrance to Bag End itself. Yeah, I'd say Bilbo had some money. From what he inherited from his father and what he got from the dragon, I'd say he wasn't doing too bad for himself. Alrighty. On up the hill as Bag End comes into view. And there's Lobelia and Lotho, her son, standing outside. You'll notice the flaming ring over her head telling us this is one of the main epic quest adventures. So let's talk to her. What do you want? Let's do the prologue. How rude! I heard about the troubles my nephew Mundo went through in Breland. I assume you're here with old Flower Dumpling's coin purse to repay us for Mundo's hardship. You're not? What is this nonsense? Whitfoot doesn't have an ounce of sense in that fat head of his. It doesn't surprise me that he didn't have the courage to come tell me himself, but he'll regret it. I'll go to Michael Delving to see him personally and tell him in no uncertain terms what I think of him. What use is he as a mayor anyway? And what use are the bounders for that matter? My nephew has gone through so much and he was barely outside the bounds. Typical... Typical what you would expect from a Sackville Baggins. Let's finish it up. Don't walk all. I need to speak with you. All right. So what is she going to do? She's going to ask us to make ourselves useful. You'll notice the name of the quest here is in orange, meaning it's a good deal higher than we are. It's a quest level 11, and we are only 7. So this might be a quest, depending on um, what we need to do, that uh, might be a little too difficult for us. If it's stuff like going out and killing animals, um, going into dangerous parts, that sort of thing, usually it's a little bit too rough for you. But if it's just a traveling quest, it's oftentimes they seem to have, they seem to be ranked a little bit higher than they're really worth. Says, why do we even need a mayor or bounders or sheriffs if they can't keep my nephew from being threatened and abducted and put through all kinds of hardship? The Sackville Bagginses are a very important family in these parts. I've heard there are goblins on the edges of the Shire. Goblins? If you ask me, you should stop running pointless errands for our fat mayor and should do something about them. I've heard that Wilcom Tunnelly, the quarry supervisor in Scary, has seen goblins on the greenfields. Talk to him and get to the bottom of this, Narlo. Hmph! <laughs> goblins! So we will accept that. And this is definitely a traveling quest. And that's why um, it's giving us the, the orange. Um, the further you have to go, it's like this one right here, from the Shire to the Bree. It's also orange because you need to go from here to Bree Town. But... While it looks like it's difficult and it is a long distance, all you got to do is go over to the uh, stables and hire a, I think, one silver horse ride and boom, you're in Bree. So once again, these traveling quests are rated a little too high and give you a little too much experience for what they actually do. 
She still has another quest over her head. Let's see what she has to say. Lobelia's Fireworks. Don't you turn your back on me. You there. Yes, I mean you. Come over here. I have work for you. I simply must have fireworks for my birthday party. More and brighter than that mad Bilbo ever had. I heard that Hyacinth Took over in Tuckborough has learned to make them. No doubt from that queer Gandalf fellow. You go over there and tell her I want a dozen large crates of her best fireworks. She lives west of the Great Smiles. Of course I'll pay you if you insist. What a nuisance. I thought the bounders, or whatever you are, were supposed to do for a shire folk out of duty. <laughs> and she's not going to pay you much. So, while we're here, instead of going on the quest, we're going to open the door and we're going to go into Bag End. Here's Bag End. The paneled halls. The pegs over here that it almost looks as if the dwarves are still here for the party. There are so many hoods and cloaks hanging on the wall. I'm really kind of surprised that Bilbo and Frodo left so many of their books behind whenever they moved out. Beautiful house. Beautiful house. Would not mind living here myself. Yet more books. Could use a maid. Could use a maid. But then again, they were in no hurry to uh, clean the place up for Lobelia. I believe that... Oh, and a map of Middle-earth itself. I believe that... Uh, Frodo's exact words were, We'll leave the washing up for Lobelia. And indeed, in here in the kitchen... We see stacks of dirty dishes, waiting for the cleaning up. Very pretty dining room. And unfortunately, that's as far as you can go. Lobelia's got all her stuff piled up in the rest of the hobbit hole here. So we're not able to get any further in to the hill and see what's going on. So, we're going to travel back out. I'm going to run over here to the terrace. And from here we've got a beautiful, beautiful view of the party field and the party tree in the middle of it. And we're going to end this episode right here. Thank you for watching. And we will pick it up next time.